railway study to come, what the future of transportation could look like in Delaware. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. Charlie Sakaitis has the evening off. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with the possibility of passenger rail service coming to Sussex County. It's the idea of a train service like Amtrak that could be coming to Delmarva at large. The Delaware Department of Transportation will begin a study early next year to assess population density and demand for a railway that could facilitate travel from the top of the state down the coast. Coast TV News reporter Tori Seagraves explains why locals believe this idea is long overdue. Methods of travel range from walking to biking to driving in Sussex County, but the idea of a train service is chugging along. Jack Marco lives in Lewis and had family fly in for the holidays. Even if it is not right on the coast, Marco says a local train would help with this significantly. Uh, to be able to get to Wilmington or even to Philadelphia, uh, airports, train stations and so forth would be a real convenience without having to drive all the time. According to Dot, this study comes as a solution to heavily trafficked roads, saying the population growth in Sussex County has gone up 20% in the last decade. The reality of whether the area could support passenger rail service is something that has uh, continued to be a topic of discussion. This study is really the first step of, of what will be many to determine what the, what the feasibility is for downstate rail. But Marco does have concerns for building the infrastructure that comes with a railway. I mean, it's just always something that is sort of blocking things up a little bit. And I imagine a, a railway would, would be <laughs> no small feat. A passenger rail service has not come through Sussex County since the Pennsylvania Railroad was discontinued in the 1950s. David Ludlow, who gives tours of a caboose that was a part of that rail line in Lewis, says he thinks many would utilize a train. If there is um, a real good schedule and a, and a good uh, infrastructure and stations and, and parking and things like this, I believe that they probably would. Delta does plan to hold public workshops throughout the year to aid the study. Delta says it hopes to have the results of this study by mid-2025. I'm Tori Seagraves in Lewis, Coast TV News. The funding for this passenger rail study comes from a $500,000 grant from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. The corridor from northern Delaware to the eastern shore, with a stop in Dover, is technically tentatively called the Diamond State Line. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know if you would use restored passenger rail service in southern Delaware. Let's take a look at updated results from the last news hour. A large majority say yes, they absolutely would, though 15% say they simply wouldn't. If you haven't voted yet, you can do that right now on coasttvnews.com or our mobile app. We'll have updated results on Coast TV News at 11.